Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's plan with me, we are going to be decorating my mini dashboard happy planner using some beautiful pattern papers from Recollections from Michaels, the red and white paper pad. So let's get into it. As you saw from our pattern paper spread in my classic happy planner, this is a beautiful Christmas paper pad. It is six by six. And if you want to see a flip through that paper pad, I will link that other plan with me at the end of this video in case you missed it. But again, this is six by six and our mini happy planner is seven inches tall. So it will not cover up the entire page, which is what I wanted in this case. Because of this, I ended up having to mix two pattern papers together. I could have used in the exact same design to make it look like the same paper throughout the entire page since I get two pages of each design in this paper pad. Anyhow, I thought it would be more fun and interesting to mix the patterns and the designs. And for that, as you saw, I cut my parent paper to the same width as the planner page. And then I cut out a strip from it and it is in the middle of both paper pieces that I will add my other design. And I am simply using my planner page and my pieces of paper to make small marks with my pencil on the back of the papers to know where to cut. This way I don't have to be measuring anything and dealing with numbers. I will just follow the marks that I just traced with my pencil. And I am making my marks on the back of the pattern papers, so I don't even have to erase those. Now to the first piece of paper, because it was fairly big, I added the adhesive directly to it, but this time around I will be adding the adhesive to the space that I have left from the planner page. And then I will just place my pieces of recollections paper on top of it. And I chose these two specific designs from the paper pad because they are not too busy. They are pretty much tone on tone. For example, the red is, well, red on red. And then the white paper is silver on white, which I personally consider it white on white. And it has some tiny starts in red, but again, it is not very busy. It doesn't have a ton of things going on or a ton of colors in the same design. So they are both pattern papers and they will look somewhat busy, but not as busy as they would look if I had chosen some bolder designs. Then I will simply hole punch my page with my Happy Planner hole punch, which is linked in my Amazon favorites. And I will use the white strip of paper basically as a header for the month. And for the actual month, I will use a script sticker from the Happy Planner, which is in clear sticker paper. So it will almost look as part of the pattern paper. As you may remember, in my pattern paper spread in my classic Happy Planner, I had mentioned that I had thought about creating some gifts and presents for my spread to use as decoration but at the end i just ended up using the ornaments anyhow what i ended up deciding was to do the presents for this mini spread but i was kind of stuck in the idea because i didn't know what to use in the center of the presents as decoration for those because I was thinking about some kind of bow, but I just couldn't make up my mind on how to create them. Anyhow, after that, I watched Amanda Rush Lee's Bujo set up, and she also used presents to decorate her bullet journal, but she actually created some leaves and berries to decorate in the center of her presents. And I love how that turned out. So I decided to incorporate the same idea in my own way. Instead of doodling them, I decided to use some paper punches and create the leaves and berries with those. So as you can see, I created my presents with my Happy Planner box punch and then rounded the corners with my crop edile from We Are Memory Keepers. After that, I added some Recollections Silver Foil washi tape to the center of the presents. And now I am using a regular hole punch to punch out some little circles from the red paper. 
For the leaves, I will use a Tombow Dual Brush Marker. You could go with the green, but I decided to stick to the gray to keep everything just red and white because I think it is a very elegant look and really pretty and festive. And I will color the back of just a scrap of paper and will punch out from it a flower from this Fiskars paper punch. Even though this is a flower, I will use them as leaves, so I will cut out the petals apart, but first I decided to go over it once again with my gray marker because I wanted to make it slightly darker for it to stand out a bit more on top of the white patterned paper. And to cut the petals apart, I am just using my scissors and I am cutting them in pairs of two and we'll use one pair on each present and then I will use three berries in each present as well but because I have all the foil in the parent paper as well as in the washi tape I want to use a very strong adhesive and for this I will just use my multi-medium mat from Ranger because these are such tiny pieces I thought it was easier to use a liquid glue instead of a dry adhesive and it really was pretty easy and then the pieces that I didn't use in the presents I will save them because I will be using them on the other side of my spread to tie everything together then I will take my dual brush tombow marker again the light gray one that I used for the leaves and I will add a tiny bit of shadowing on one side of each leaf just to create some more definition and make them stand out a little more and I'll basically do the same on one of the gifts to add a bit more of definition between the gifts since they are the same papers, the same color. I wanted to create a bit of shadowing to add more definition and dimension now I will take this piece of the pattern paper that was one of the journaling cards included in the paper pad and I wanted to make some holes with the Happy Planner hole punch to it to make it look kind of like a notebook page but my Happy Planner hole punch had the holes a little too far apart for such a small piece of paper so I ended up using my new crop dial from We Are Memory Keepers that I recently got. I'm pretty excited about it. It's super heavy duty. It can punch through a lot of different materials and so I used it to make the holes a little closer together. Since it is a single hole punch, I was able to do the holes one by one as close to each other as I needed them to be. And I have a bit of mixed feelings about this hole punch because even though I absolutely love how powerful this little tool is, I have also found that the guide included in it to know where to punch your next hole is kind of off because it is a little too long, longer than the holes punched. So I've had a slight difficulties with it, but once I learned how to work around that, again, I just loved it. It can not only punch thicker materials, like for example the Simply Gilded washi cards, without any problem at all, but it can also punch through thinner materials, which is not necessarily always the case with other hole punches, because when it is, for example, thin paper, a regular hole punch would just bend the paper rather than punch through it and this one punches it like butter. No need to put another piece of paper or cardstock behind. So other than the guide, it is a great tool. But here I was feeling that the holes in that little notebook page that I created were a little too long for such a tiny piece of paper. So I decided to cut it down a bit and make the holes tinier and cuter, which I actually liked better. And here I will finally start decorating my other page in my spread, which in this spread more than ever will be pretty simple because we already have most of our decoration and in this case a lot of decoration I think on the other side of my spread. So this only needs to match and you know tie everything together but it doesn't really need a lot in my opinion. So I just created a couple of page flags with the same papers 
and then I will use the same leaves and berries that I had left over at the beginning which will add some red and gray to this side as well as a bit more foiling and to add a bit of the white paper to this page I just got two very thin strips of that pattern paper and I sticked them horizontally in some of the boxes this is the very first mini spread that I do with pattern paper and I love how it turns out. It was a lot of fun for me to decorate, so I really hope you like it as well. Please give me a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye!